Hello, my lovely Scorpios, and a very warm welcome to your September 2023 horoscope forecast. Finally, the retrograde planets this month begin to move forwards. Venus moves forwards on the 4th. Mercury comes out of retrograde on the 16th. So if you can be a little patient, a little more patience over the first couple of weeks of the month, you'll find that things begin to gather pace and momentum as we move past the 16th of the month. And of course, we're preparing now for the very big month next month with the eclipses, when a lot more energy comes onto our planet and we have to be able to withstand that energy. It's, you know, it's about now really getting grounded and centered so that your bulb is able to take extra wattage, extra voltage without burning out. So that's what you're developing. And Scorpios, you're strong. And it's about really developing your strength and your power, not only physically, but mentally, emotionally, psychically. On the fourth of the month, Venus goes direct. So after the fourth, it becomes a good time for getting into new relationships, both uh, professional and personal. This also indicates that you might have been considering a career change and that things begin to move forward now. There may be some very positive negotiations happening. And you may also meet people who are really instrumental in helping you with furthering your career and with furthering what you wish to do with your life at this time. This can bring a lot of peace and harmony and good relationships with everybody that you meet, that you interact with outside of your home. Now on the 15th of the month, we've got a new moon happening here in your 11th house. And on the 16th, Mercury goes direct. So Scorpios, a lot of new possibilities with friendships, with liaisons, with connections. It's a good time for networking. It's going to be a good time for meeting new people. It's going to be a good time for attracting your tribe, the people that you really feel that you resonate with deeply. It's an opportunity to create more of a sense of community. You might be studying with others. You might be teaching them, training, mentoring, counseling, advising. These are all new beginnings with your interactions with other people and lots of possible opportunities coming up for you. On the 23rd, 4th, we've got the sun coming to join Mars, one of your rulers, in the 12th house. So this makes this a really good time for putting energy into your internal world. You're already a very internal sign, but this is an opportunity to go deeply inside, not to look externally for your answers, but to look inside to the invisible forces, the invisible energies, after all, electricity is invisible. You know, well, yes, you, you can see it in the lightning and things like that. But for the most part, we can't see how we are connecting now online and doing all these kinds of things. And so it's about deeply connecting with these powerful, invisible sources that you are connected to inside of you. So this can take you very much on an esoteric spiritual journey in a very proactive way because of the Mars energy. Just make sure that you are expressing your emotion, that you're getting things out, and also maybe that you are doing enough physical movement. And if you can't do physical movement, then at least do it in your mind, do it mentally. Yes, I haven't always got weights to lift, but I can imagine that I'm lifting Oh, a very heavy weight. And you'll see that just by using the mind power, which Scorpios love, um, you can create just about anything you want. So a lot of power with this in the 12th house. And then on the 29th of the month, we've got a full moon here in your sixth house. And this is shining a light on your health, your well-being, your daily habits. Maybe there are some changes, some adaptations, Maybe some restructuring to do in this area 
so that you can have optimum vitality, energy, and um, verve to be able to accomplish and do all the things that you'd like to do. So I wish you a wonderful month, and I thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subbing. Bye for now.